You're kidding me. What? Oh, no way. <laughs> Tucked away in a small town in northern Sweden, we stumbled upon a quaint yellow house, abandoned for over three decades, yet remarkably well-preserved to this day. This was the beautiful residence of Miss Bluma. After conducting more research, we discovered that she lived to the ripe old age of 101 years old. Despite her advanced age, she maintained her home in an impeccable condition. Her husband passed away long before she did. She was left alone for a significant amount of time and even outlived multiple children of her own. Despite this, she was surrounded by a strong community of friends and family who supported her throughout these years. They were there to lend a helping hand whenever needed and brought love and laughter into her life. Her home acts as a time capsule into her past life. Literally everything is left behind, from jackets and boots in the hallway to the faded photographs on the mantelpiece, preserving memories and moments into time. Let's shine a final light on her and show you around her cherished home, located in the north of Sweden. We all deserve a break every now and then. That's why I teamed up in an incredible game this week that wanted our sponsor our channel and this week's video. This game brings history to life with over 800 legendary champions, including medieval warriors, elves and orcs, and more. And you can play it on mobile and PC for convenience on the go. Raid Shadow Legends turns five, and a huge party means massive giveaways for new players. This is the perfect time to join. Bonus is worth $100. Receive an epic champion named Lady Etessa, 500k silver and even more for just starting. Level up to 25 for even more rewards, another 500k silver, epic skill tokens, potions and even more. And they're also celebrating with the Festival of Creation for a month of celebrations including events, tournaments, summon boosts and free gifts. Download right now to join the party. Raid has undergone major changes, even if you played before 2021. In the past six months, they've added six new features, including my favorite, Curse City with 100 stages and some featuring dual bosses. Download Raid using my link or scan the QR code and use the code FESTIVAL5 to claim more rewards, including an epic champion named Tayrell. This is a great starting point for new players. Come and join our clan, Bros of DK, and we will see you on the battlefield. Remember, all these bonuses are only available through my link or QR code. Let's go raid some dungeons and join the millions of players and see what the hype is all about. Thank you Raid for sponsoring this video and let's head on with an epic exploration. Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie, like usual, behind the camera, Mr. Danny. Hello, hello everyone. And we are bringing you another video from the country of Sweden. And we got a very interesting place for you today that has been abandoned for 30 years right now. Three decades. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing on the inside, but we're now standing in the basement of the place. There's a couple of interesting things around here. You can see this used to be a cabinet back in the time, but has completely fallen down. Some old items around here, the wine bottles and everything are still left behind. The liquor still inside of it. And there's also a washing basin down there. What I found very interesting in this basement is actually the stove that we have over here. So this connects to all, sorry, fireplace. <laughs> I can always say it wrong. And this connects to all the chimneys throughout the building and also all the fireplaces in, throughout the building. And I would heat it up from the basement down here. I think this was also some sort of a bread oven back in the time. Ooh. Beautiful. And there, down there is a, a small wine cellar to my opinion. Don't you think so, Danny? I have no idea. This is really small. Something for food storage back in the time. Yeah. Very cold down here as well. Yeah. And also a little window to look inside of this room. Okay. The basement is not very big, so now it's time to take you all upstairs and show you this wonderful house. 
So welcome, welcome everybody inside of the house, inside of the kitchen of Mrs. Bluma, the last inhabitant of this place. It's actually a very cozy kitchen, I must say. Yeah. Typical Swedish, beautiful kitchen. And I cannot believe that this one is abandoned for 30 years. Yeah. It still looks so pristine. Yeah, it looks pristine, it looks untouched. <laughs> untouched is the right word. Exactly like somebody still lives here, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, nobody does, of course. Everybody's so, everything is so old, but yeah, it's, it's, it's so pristine. Love the little kitchen table down here, with everything still on top of it. We have this sort of... Yes, grind it? Yeah, to grind something. vegetables or carrots or something like that. Still here on the table, the flowers of Mrs. Bluma. Mrs. Bluma is actually a very interesting name because it means flowers in bloom. So, as yeah. you can see, she loves flowers as well throughout her house. The window still, all the ornaments still neatly stacked on there. And I love this blue couch that yeah. we have over here as well. Really stands out. Yeah. And also a very typical Swedish piece. We've seen this a lot in houses before. Yeah. And the wall as well, decorated with the wallpaper. All the kitchen utensils and everything. Curious to see if there's still something in the fridge here. Oh, this one hasn't been opened for a long time. Electrolux. Electrolux. <laughs> what I found interesting is they have a lot of American appliances in yeah. Swedish houses. Yeah, I've also noticed that. But I'm gonna say something that might sound controversial. Yeah. But I think Sweden, it's kind of the America in Europe. Because they also put flags. Yeah. It's, it's a bit different. They also drive big cars. Uh, yeah. 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 There's a little bit of the America, of, but there's also because they have an enormous land. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah and they have a lot of space and stuff. Yeah. It's a big America without yeah. lakes everywhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here we can see the last year of the house. 1992, it says over here. Then this place got abandoned. Exactly 30 years right now. Wow. Everything is still left behind in here. All the glasses. I love the porcelain cups that we have in there. Yeah. They are beautiful. Here, Mrs. Bluma would make her food for the whole family. Wow, wow. all the plates and everything. Everything is still here. I'm gonna take. I saw some papers here to the side. It's very interesting. I think these are recipes of her. Yeah, you can see two eggs, 125 grams of sugar. And yeah, these are all the ingredients that you needed to make, for example, the tox akdachta. <laughs> I've no clue what it means. But this is what she all saved over the years. I love how she kept it like literally next to the plates over yeah. here. Probably cakes or something. Yeah, maybe like that. Yeah. Also love this piece right here. Yeah, these plates that they bind up like that. Yeah. We've already seen it before in another house, right? Yeah, yeah in Sweden, yeah. Post-it stamps. <laughs> it's furious private post that says over here. Wow. All the egg boxes that she collected. Oh <laughs> Why? Let's see if there's something interesting in this one. Oh my gosh, look at this, Danny. Oh. Can I show first this old lamp? Yeah. Wow. I love finding these ones. They are wonderful. Yeah. And these are all letters that came from Bluma. Bluma Anderson. The last inhabitant, and she wrote something here that I unfortunately no, no, cannot. This transfer. is for her. Oh, for her. Yeah. Fu. Fu, yeah, exactly. Oh, they're all directed towards her. From beautiful places somewhere in the world. Even her wallet is still in here, Danny. Oh, with some coins. <laughs> still some coins in there, yes. Wow. Sweden never changed that currency, so most likely these coins are still valid nowadays. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I'm taking off my glove. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, but okay. I'm gonna start showing this side. Yeah. And first thing that I have to point out, it's the back tile. Oh yeah. The backsplash, it's beautiful. Look at that, windmills. Yeah. Svita's lakes. 
Looks a little bit like Portugal, I would say. Like you also do this in the kitchen with the tile behind there, right? Uh, yeah, but normally it's not like this. But yeah, yeah, we do it. Let's see. Even her last dishes, her last cup that she drank from, is still inside of here. Wow, such a beautiful kitchen. And of course, also very typical in Sweden, you see the stove down below there. And the stove is for every single Swedish kitchen has a stove like this. Yeah. This is a Huskavarna, it's a German brand. And this number always comes back uh, when we see Swedish stoves. Yeah. 727. But I think from the video we saw a couple days ago, you remember, I think it's uh, the model. Yeah, the model. They, they, na they named, uh, they numbered the model. Yeah, exactly. Everything's still standing on top of here as well. <laughs> wow, beautiful to see. And then this oh, the mixer. Typical mixer. She would be over here mixing like this. I have even no clue how to use it. Yeah, something yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Tea kettle, sphere. A couple of clots hanging down below there. Where should we go next? Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. I don't want to leave it. it, it is. <laughs> but as you can see as well, electricity has been added on later. This is a very old house that we're standing in today, probably late 1800s. And you're directly going to see it from the bathroom that we enter in over here. Yes, everybody, this is the only bathroom in the entire house. And this is where Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Bluma cleaned herself and uh, brushed her teeth and did her business. Yeah. <laughs> Can you go inside? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think this is sort of her sink area over here, or what you can call it. A sink. <laughs> With all her products, all our beauty products, still left on top of here. Let's see, her ear, waxes. And then this bucket she probably used to clean herself with, with this little spoon to push some water over her head or something like that. Even her toothbrush is still left here. And you know where her toilet is? That? This? <laughs> this bucket? Oh god. I think, honestly, that that was her toilet. Oh god. She even hangs some clothing up here, as you can see. Got a drying rack. And then our medical cabinet to the side. Everything's still in there. Wow. What a place. <laughs> this over here is the front door of the household. Or the back door, I must say. I'm the not front, sure. The front, the front yeah, door. The front door. Yeah. I think the house is sideways. I don't know. Yeah, I have no the idea. house is a little bit tilted. <laughs> yeah, it's not directly to the street. A letter directed to Mrs. Bluma, Bluma Anderson. This is sort of a hallway where you could hang up some clothes. I don't know why, but here's also a walk-in dresser, closet, closet with all <laughs> her. All her clothes still left inside of there. Oh, piece of African art. And this looks like some sort of a dining room that we're walking into right now. Yeah, it feels very different from the rest of the house. Everything in this room also feels very new to me, like yeah. newer, I must it say. It feels like, to be honest, it feels like I just walked into a museum and this is very yeah, it's exposed. so exposed. Clean as well. Yeah. Which is very strange. First Remember that I talked about the fireplace in the basement? Yep. This one is connected to it. Oh. And the, the, the heat from the fireplace in the basement would also come up through this fireplace. It's a very typical, as you can see, with the tile pieces around it, everything is designed. Beautiful how they open up as well, right? Yeah. These two different doors that can open up. The last ashes are even still inside of here. Absolutely wonderful. It's a beautiful fireplace, that's for sure. Oh, decorational pieces also hanging to the side. What I love the most is there's still a small bucket of wood left behind next to it to light it up for one last time. Beautiful. Have you seen the tea kettle as well? Oh, on a little stand here. Wow. And then they could sit in this room enjoy themselves, have a drink. Where, do, where should we start in here? <laughs> start in this corner, yeah. I, I would say. I, uh, because I look at this and it's, it's weird, but it's interesting at the same yeah. time, this. I was already looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
probably handmade by the children yeah, or something. I absolutely oh. love it. The head on it. Wow, and this very cool painting of a nighttime somewhere in the city. And here we can see one of the, oh, <laughs> I hit my head against the camera. One of the first pictures of the household from a young girl it's falling out of there. And this man, probably also somebody from the Anderson family. And look at this one behind here. A completely snowed in street, a very typical sight in the winter of Sweden. Yeah. And especially up here where we are now, because we're already pretty far north, I would say. Like halfway Sweden. Beautiful bench that it could all reside. This is true decay, you see? Yeah, the painting. The painting right there. literally fell from here behind the seat. Yeah. Painting is also breaking apart over the years, but it has been left behind in here. Wow. And this is also handmade, as you can see, yeah. on the strings. I think this has uh, this art has a name, but I don't remember. Me neither. A ladies' dresser as well could fix themselves up in the morning. Let's move this chair away for a little bit. You can see. There's still something inside of here. Everything has been left inside of this house. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> it doesn't open up anymore. Wonderful dresser with the plants decaying still after 30 years. Completely dried out. I love these corner pieces as well that we have over here. Yeah, I was looking at the corner, at uh, the pieces on the window. Oh, also. yeah, I haven't talked about those as well. Those are also very interesting. I love the shell up there. Yeah. Probably really strange. Somewhere. Here we can see a little bit of spider webs and stuff. Oh, yeah. And then we have this sort of candle, candle holder. holder. Yeah. And a donkey pulling a cart. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And then, of course, a little. Yeah, sort of dining table or coffee table that you have here to the side. I love how this piece of furniture has a drawer on this side. Here they could sit and enjoy themselves in the evening. Wow, what a cool room. Yeah, really, really lovely. beautiful. Very different from anything we have seen before. Yeah. And from the kitchen area, we can go straight into the hallway of the place. Watch out, my friend. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit small. Yeah, here the decay has already taken place a little bit, as you can see. The floor is cracking up. And also the ceiling is a little bit it's... chipping away. But it's not much for 30 years. Yeah, it's absolutely almost nothing. We first go into this room. You don't want to talk about this entrance hall? I will do it in a second. Okay, okay. <laughs> but they also had a sort of patio in the house here where they could sit outside because in Sweden of course it gets very very cold in the winter but you also still want to enjoy the outside and this is perhaps the, the front, front door, door. <laughs> yeah exactly is this color green yes it's green yeah yeah exactly that's the, the front faded door green of the house some fish above there <laughs> freshly caught fish and of course also an antler yeah, that's a huge one yeah and watch out because we're going to steal these animals throughout Sweden <laughs> Oh, Anderson. Oh, Hach, oh, I think here lives Andersons. Andersons. Yeah. Oh, that's that's really cool. A small little patio. Yeah, nothing much. What's in the need here? Yeah, they got their seat, their couch, and they could sit here in the winter time or any time in the year and enjoy the outside without going outside. That's even their mailbox down there, Danny. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Everything has been taken down. A couple of coats still left here. And this is to dust off something, right? Uh, I, I think so, the carpets and stuff. Yeah. I think. Me Don't too. quote me on that. I think I've seen it in a movie before. <laughs> All the jackets and their hats and everything. And their, of course, their boots. boots. Don't forget, because boots, rubber boots in uh, Sweden are very important. It rains a lot over here and it yeah. creates a lot of mud. <laughs> okay, sir. Now we... Okay, I'm bumping okay. stuff oh. over. It's the glass that is broken on the door. Yeah. Here we come into the hallway of the place where we were just way before. There really a door. 
this section over here. I have all the, the coats and everything still hanging here. The boots, as if they go, could go out anytime soon right now. You can see the difference between the ladies' boots. They even have a little... <laughs> yeah. But have you noticed it's all ladies' shoes, even though yeah. in the corner? Mrs. Bluma must have been the last person living here for sure. Yeah. As you can see it from the from the clothing and the and the closet over there and the boots down here, yeah. everything. everything. Were, also the papers and everything inside of the house relate to Bluma being the last person living here. Yeah. And we have not seen anything of a man so far. No, no, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Maybe she left here alone. Look at this. Really love this depiction of a Swedish time. Yeah, it kind of depicts Bluma. National <laughs> Museum. Yes, it kind of depicts Bluma. You're right, Danny. Love the little kitten yeah, by the I'm stove over there. <laughs> now we got this very cute hallway with everything still hanging up there. A Swedish town up in there. Love the lake as well. These three children over there on the field. These are pictures, right? No, no, no. It really uh, looks realistic. Yeah, but I think... Yeah. I don't know. Pro probably montage, I don't know. Wow. Oh, I'm literally shipping off the paint with my fingers. <laughs> yeah. And here we come into another big... I think this might have been the dining area then, back in the back time. Back in the time, yeah. Yeah, because they moved a lot of boxes in here. I think after Bluma passed away, they were trying to clean it up, but yeah, never I think finished they, it. You can see that they tried to. And you can something. see there's also only a couple of memories left behind in the house. Like yeah. only a couple of pictures, few postcards. Sometimes we find houses which are literally full with memories, but this one has been cleaned out somehow, yeah. some way. This was a very beautiful room, as you can see back yeah. in the time. I love Even it the, the, the ceiling, although it's chipping off, yeah, it's beautiful. Really beautiful room. Have you seen the tapestry back there? Oh, let me turn on the light. Yeah, you have to really look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah, I didn't saw it because it matches with the wall. Yeah, exactly. And that's probably why I hang it up here. Yeah, I love this uh, newspaper yeah. cutout cut yeah. as well. This literally depicts Pluma because there's a woman standing <laughs> in front of flowers. Yep. Here we can see next to that other fireplace as well in this corner of the house underneath the fireplace from the basement we have another stove that also would act as a heater for the house. Yeah, wow. And the table, the blue chairs around it. I love that everything is very colorful in Sweden. Yeah. They use so many colors throughout their and, houses. And have you also noticed, have you also noticed that every division of the house it has a different color? Exactly, it's, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Can I meet you in the blue part of the house? <laughs> it's just looking because this is a very interesting box. You could put a piece of jewelry up top here, atop here, and also put a piece of jewelry inside of here, I think. But I'm not sure. I have just no idea. At it. A lovely cabinet over here as well. A lot of things. Yeah. There's a lot still left inside of it. See even some liquor, some candles. Wow. Oh, it's a drawing. Probably from one Ber of the children. Bernhardt. Bernhardt. Bernhardt, I think. It's H. Oh. Oh, Bluma. Oh my gosh. That's from one of the grandchildren, perhaps. Yeah. Is he drawer? Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I get tears on my ass from that. <laughs> Rose makeup. <laughs> Got another ladder here. You're kidding me. What? Oh no way. <laughs> the Reichs, uh, the Federal Bank of Sweden, then Swedish, Swedish Krona. Krona. It's about a wow. euro right now. It's not much, it's two euros or two dollars, but. Wow. Money. <laughs> still wow. left here. Okay, let's put it nicely back. It's crazy that it still stays here after 30 years. Yeah, that's really something to find. <laughs> then, of course, the big dining table over here that they would use back in the time for everybody to sit around and enjoy a meal. <sighs> wow. Storage. Just a dress or something? Or yes, sir. Yeah. It's kind of a uniform rope. More so cutouts. These also used to be on a wall back in the time. 
some Adidas shoes and everything from her are still left here. Absolutely love it. Oh, I also love these chipping walls, ch uh, chipping paint of the door. How it says on there. See, there are even more over here. Are these the Beatles? The Beatles. Yeah, I wanted to say that then one might make a mistake. I'm absolutely terrible at music. <laughs> <laughs> I love to end off this room as well, this little broom that they literally bound up together themselves and they create stuff with that. <laughs> Very typical thing as well. Here you can get a real look at the design of this room. Oh, it's sort of leather, right? Yeah. No, not leather, but he has yeah. these bumps. I don't know how to call it in English. So beautiful. Okay, I think it's time to look at the bedrooms upstairs because I'm really curious where they slept and how that looks like. Yeah. I already saw it from the corner of my eye. This used to be... Oh, yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, to the look. floor is a bit difficult. This is the way up to the bedrooms. Okay. Looks like we're coming onto some sort of an attic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think this is an attic. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely an attic. This is just an attic. I'm just gonna turn around. Yeah. And show. Uh -huh. Where did these people sleep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. we haven't seen a bed. No, but maybe that's like taken out at some point. Probably. Yeah. Still a lot of stuff up here though. Interesting stuff as well. Whoa, this is very heavy. What must this have been back in time? I have no idea. I just saw it in the corner of my eye and I had to show it to the camera. Oh, it's a light fixture. Look at that. Huh? I don't understand <laughs> it. Very weird. Lots of stuff on the ground here. Love these wooden crates that they would store stuff inside. There's a man's head here. Yeah. And also rope and everything. Painting Are these on... pictures? No, it's just paintings, I think. Ah, yeah. Very beautiful ones, though. Yeah. Show one more. Oh, wow. Flowers. Of course, very typical. Oh, excuse me, Danny. <laughs> Almost tripped over Danny. Yep. Their chandeliers are also all still left up here. And all their paints and everything that they used inside of the house. And have you seen this one? It's a royal figure from Sweden, I think. Probably. Most okay. likely. And wow, wonderful man. Got more things up here. Okay, I see a crib. Do you think they slept in the crib? You're not gonna believe this. What? <laughs> Here's the bedroom. No. <laughs> you would have to come to the attic to, to sleep? Like there's a literal, this is, this even looks fake to me. Like there's yeah. a little room up here. You would come to the attic to sleep, yes indeed. Why? I it's strange. It's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, Okay, is. I'm just wandering into a full-on bedroom here that you would expect when you come up the stairs. Yeah, yeah. And it looks so pristine and new, except for the ceiling that's like a little bit moldy and, and decaying, but... The room itself is yeah, like, pristine, pristine, yeah. It's even still plastic on top of the bed. <laughs> Why is there plastic on top of the bed? I, I, I wish I could answer your question. Maybe they put a layer of plastic over it when oh, yeah, the passed mold. away. Yeah, the mold, mm -hmm. to not mold away the rest. Of course, yeah, it's yeah. not helpful anymore right now, but... Yeah. yeah. It was 30 years ago, so... This one also connects to the chimney that we saw downstairs. You think? Yeah, this is underneath the dining room. Oh, because I thought that connected, that little thing. Probably the whole thing, I'm not sure, but why would you not place it here, I think. Then a bench over here to the side as well, also covered in plastic. <laughs> a little vanity area, with everything still on top of there. Her alarm clock, all the little ornaments. Little light fixture over there. I love the address book that we have over here as well. Oh wow. No oh yeah, this is how you do it. So you select what you for want. example the PQ and then it opens on PQ. Really love that. Wow. <laughs> I know how these things work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then her bedside stand and everything over there. With all her magazines that she loved to read. 
back over in the time. All the pictures on the wall. Oh, what a beautiful room. Yeah, very clean. Also a lot of the different colors of the bed and yeah. the pillows. In here we can see that Mrs. Bluma, oh, there's a lot of things still left in here, medicines and from her old day. Yeah, and the candy exploded. <laughs> yeah. She probably never slept downstairs, so she came every single night until her last day of life up here. Her heart roll and everything's still in here. Wow. Everything is so neat still inside it's, this house. It's so pristine, like exactly like yeah. how she left it. 30 years ago, she left behind this house and it never changed anymore. Yeah, crazy. If you close up this bedroom, you would not think something is here. Just think that's another part of the attic. Yeah, <laughs> strange. Even a baby crib. Yeah, that's here. what I was looking at. Also covered in plastic. Oh, and there's another bed there. You see? It's a very small one or it's not collapsed out? I don't out. think it's not. Oh, it's one of those that you can pull out. Have oh yeah, when children get older, they pull yeah, the beds pull the out. Bed out. Of. We also yeah. saw this in Iceland. I'll link yeah. the Iceland videos up here. Definitely <laughs> check those out. But they had these beds that literally, yeah, when the child grows, they the bed grows with it. So yeah. they pull the bed out. Very interesting. It's very interesting, yeah. Lots of stuff stored up here. I love the calendar that we have on the wall. Have you seen that one? No. It's like a pull-off calendar. Wow, it's from it's the 17th of August on a Monday. 64. 64? Yeah, it, the number is very oh. little, but it's there. Oh. Wow, a very old calendar. Oh, oh, we have oh, oh, oh. vacuum cleaner. I'm here wow. as well. What brand do we have on here? Protos. Never heard of it. Beautiful place. And this was a swing machine. Oh yeah. A singer. It yeah. doesn't have a swing machine right now, I think. No, no, it's inside of here. Let me show you. It's very decayed over time. Yeah. Oh. I don't think you're gonna be able to... Nah, it's not there anymore. It's gone? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, that's very unfortunate. I'm gonna place this back nicely, like I found it. Wow. Oh. Wow. Very cool, but strange attic. <sighs> yeah, yeah, very strange, <laughs> but also cool. Okay. Be sure to take advantage of my Raid Shadow Legends link in the description or scan my QR code to receive amazing bonuses for new players, including an epic champion. I really love how this attic is actually constructed. As you can see there's literal beams of wood that they just... Oh, this is how the whole house is constructed actually. Yeah, uh, you can look at the roof and yeah. see it. Everything is out of, made out of wood in these uh, Swedish places. Of course, they have, have an abundance of wood in this country. Yeah, <laughs> the whole but, country. But it also preserves the heat. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it gets it's very cold yeah. here. Love the working jackets as well that we have hanging up here. Probably from the man that once used to live here, or from Bluma, who knows? And a walking cane. <laughs> Probably handcrafted. <sighs> what a place, everybody. I really loved exploring this one. This was one of those typical Swedish houses and what me and Danny loved the most, just untouched, forgotten. Yeah. And yeah, just like- 30 years. Th longer than we live. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. what I always say. But it is, it's true. It's, it's crazy. crazy to think about. What a lovely place to go to. Bluma, I wanna thank you so much for your life and that we got the opportunity to document it for one last time. Danny, I want to thank you behind the camera. Link is in the description from his vlog channel or his channel where he posts all these kinds of stuff on. And <laughs> uh, with that all said, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and write a comment in the comment section. There's also a link in the description for Patreon and there you can support the channel. And thank you all very, very much. And I'll see you next week in another epic adventure. Bye-bye. I love you.